Hi everybody, my name is Sarah Appleyard, I'm Essentials Design Guru. So today we're going to look at how to set up a rotating banner for your SharePoint sites. Anything that makes the most of the real estate above the fold on a SharePoint site is good by me. It means that people can take things in at a glance without having to do much scrolling. And this banner I'm going to show you works really well alongside the quick link icons that we looked at in my previous video. To create the rotating banner, we're going to cheat a little bit by using the news web part in something called carousel mode. I'm going to delete what I have here and re-add it to show you how easy it is to set up. Press plus sign, find the news web part and select the carousel setting. Here you can see there's controls to determine how many items are shown, whether your banner is going to auto-rotate, and if it does, how long it will wait between each item. There's also a filter. We'll come back to this bit later, as it's a secret to controlling what appears in your rotating banner, as you might want it to be links to regular pages and not news pages. So here's what you need to do to create a regular page that the news carousel recognises as a news page. We're going to kick off by creating a regular page with a header, content, images, etc. You can come back to this page later. Let's go ahead and publish this page, but when you do, select the Posters News option. This will make your new news page appear in the carousel. But now let's look at how to control what goes into this carousel, bearing in mind you might want to exclude regular news items. So this is what you need to do. First, go to the pages in your site. What we're going to do is add a new column for categorizing your pages. Set it up as a multiple choice option. Let's call it category. And let's configure one of the choices to say carousel item. You might want to add other choices later as you explore this feature. So we're going to go back to edit the page we created earlier and click on page details. You need to be in edit mode to do this otherwise it won't work. We're then going to set the category property of this page to carousel item and then press update. Next, go back to the news web part and go to the filter option and then select page properties followed by category and then category equals carousel item. This will stop all the other news items that don't have this category set from appearing in the carousel. You probably notice now I've saved that page, the other items in the carousel have disappeared. So what I'm going to have to do is go back to the individual items page by page and set categories on each of these items to say carousel item. To stop carousel items creeping into any regular news web parts on your page, you'll need to follow a similar path. Basically go into the news web part filter Select page properties followed by category and then you can just set that the category is equal to nothing. Once you get the hang of it, it's really easy and you can start using this approach to direct different categories of news to different news web parts. But I think you all agree this has made quite a neat little carousel.